Hi and welcome back to Freedio Hub. Today we'll be covering two basic tools in ethical hacking. One is auto runs for Windows and the other thing is we'll be looking at common vulnerability and exposures. Uh, now these both things are important to know what's going on on your PC and if your PC has been compromised or not. So for that we'll be using a virtual machine which is Windows 11 and I'm using VMware Workstation uh, to run the virtual instance of this uh, operating system. Now you'll have to download uh, first of all uh, uh, the files uh, from uh, Autorun. Uh, you can go to the link I'll post it in the description of the video it's a free link available on Microsoft and it's a utility which helps uh, uh, to find the most comprehensive knowledge about the auto starting locations of any startup monitor shows and what other applications are running on your computer so before that we'll see a couple of things on our virtual machine as you can see that we have recently installed this one and uh, the first thing that comes to our mind is that what are the services which are running on this operating system so suppose if you don't have a application like auto run and you want to check it on your machine just to know the services which are running so for that what we do is uh, we go to the run and you'll type here services.msc so it would take you to the services which are running on your computer if memorizing services.msc is difficult you can reach the same location by going to the control panel and then you can click on windows tools and you'll find services listed here as well so um, that's how we reach the services now there are lots of services as you can see that they are running um, you can sort them by their name or you can sort them by their description uh, you can sort them by their status if they are running or not or you can uh, change the startup type like if they are automatically loading or some of the services which are disabled now if an adversary has installed something maliciously on your computer you'll find those services running over here and uh, uh, sometimes they are running with windows sometimes there is a delayed start so if you find or come across any of the strange kind of uh, uh, service which is listed over here and you want to get details of it you'll have to double click on it and it shows the overall uh, uh, location path of it and uh, its startup type whether it's running or uh, whether it's stopped or if you want to stop it what you'll have to do so you can change those things from here now if you want to find out for example a service which is at the moment stopped and you want to start it with the windows you can change it from automatic start to delayed start and automatic manual or you can disable the services further on logon it would show you the uh, service which is responsible for that um, the recovery options what is the uh, what would happen in case of failure and the dependencies of this kind of application that what other things are required Required or uh, triggering these kind of uh, uh, protocols which are required so you can simply check the processes which are running on the computer if you want to change the process type of it you can change it from here from delayed start to um, uh, start and other things further if we are running any services like IAS or any of the basic services and we want to simply restart it we'll simply we'll either restart it from here or we'll click on it we we'll click stop and we can click on restart and in the stop also all tasks also you'll find the same options of start and restart options so that's how we check the things which are running on our computer in services now we'll see how can we find out if something is running with the uh, boot sector whenever our windows start what are the things which loaded with our operating system which we are not aware of so in order to check that we'll again go to run and we'll type here ms config and it would open the configuration of the pc but um, if it that's hard to understand again you'll go to control panel again you'll go to windows tools and in that you'll select uh, windows uh, or system configuration here also it would take you to the same screen now here you can see that there is a normal startup if someone has interfered or have played with the settings they sometimes select this option as selective startup or you can check it in windows like what are the other things which are loading with your operating system what are the services which are running at the moment or they are scheduled to start once your windows starts so if you see that any of the um, application or a service which is listed over here is loading with computer and it's making your computer a little bit slow you can get rid of it from here as well 
So just like we did it in services, you can sort the service by stopped or by running by clicking on this button. And further, you can simply dis uh, um, if you want to disable it, you'll simply uncheck it and press apply. It would disable that option from uh, starting it in the next restart. Um, further, if you want to get certain details about the uh, tools which are running in the background, you can click on it and here you can see the path of it like from where it's loading and if you want to check it from here, you'll click on launch and it would uh, load the service which is actually um, triggered by or linked to this kind of service. Um, if you want to check the, uh, the startup services, you'll click on this one and it would show you the startup tasks which are currently in progress on your computer and uh, uh, what is the secure uh, the startup impact of these applications now if you'll uh, browse a little bit further in uh, this window also it gives you lots of information about the services which are running on your computer again if you'll click on services over here it would list all the services which are running at the moment on your computer again you can sort them by their name you can sort them by their process id you can check the description of it you can um, sort them by their status and the group to which they belong to Further, if you click on details, it would show you all the different services which are running at the moment, how much memory they are consuming, how much CPU they are consuming, their status and again process ID. Um, you, it would show you even the number of users which are connected to your computer and the admin user is utilizing which services. So if you find multiple users logged in over here, you can even see the applications that they are running and the, uh, the CPU utilization of it. On startup apps, it's again showing the same startup. It uh, in the application history is showing all the applications that you might have used ever on the computer, and the services which are running at the moment, and how much uh, uh, resources they are utilizing at a mo at certain moment of time. Now, um, the performance uh, uh, parameters plays an important role in know uh, in knowing that what's going on in the background. Um, if you click on CPU, it would show you your CPU type. Uh, uh, um, what's the speed and rest of the configuration about it in memory it's showing you the memory which is utilized by that computer total memory and rest of the things uh, uh, your disk utilization and your ethernet utilization which is there at the moment if you click on process it would show you again all the processes which are being used and it's even showing you the CPU utilization in memory if you see that all of a sudden your CPU is spiking too high, like for example, you're touching 95, 100% of it. Again, you can sort the applications which are consuming the maximum CPU and you can check if they are a, um, if it's a legitimate service or it's a rogue service. So you'll right click on the service if it is running and it should not be running by ending the task over here, or you can get the details of it by memory and other uh, utilization parameters from here. So that was about how do you use the task manager and the services which are running in the background of your computer. Now we can check the same things using the application as I told you um, in the starting that we downloaded and that was auto run. If you will run this application auto run, it is a free utility which is available on Microsoft website. It lists all the application and services, everything which is running on your computer would be listed over here. You'll have to give it some time. It would list all of them and then you can browse through by all these different tabs which are appearing on top. So everything shows everything, whatever is running at the moment, even the registry values of it and uh, the publisher of the application which is running um, the path of it, uh, the timestamp when it started and the other details which are appearing at the uh, footer note over here that this is a Microsoft application which is being uh, executed when the computer restarted. If you click on logon, these are different applications which ran with the computers at the logon and it's giving you a complete path of it. It's a verified application, all the details about it, the timestamp and um, relevant details. If you go to File Explorer, which are the things which are running and what are the uh, corresponding uh, uh, registry values of it um, internet explorer if any applications are running in the background uh, any scheduled tasks which are there now this is very important to keep an eye on because sometimes adversaries when they uh, penetrate on your computer they put some applications over here or the scripts which should uh, start once the windows would start because they are not native
native scripts they want to execute it with the windows so they list it over here so keep a uh, keep an eye on this section and then it's showing all the services which are running um, the drivers that you have for certain applications any codecs that you're using um, executable files image hijacks uh, uh, known dlls which are running at the moment then uh, win logon win socks providers uh, printers and monitors now for certain things you'll not see the entries over here because it's a virtual machine it's not a machine which is being used on the network if you'll find a machine which is working on a network just like your own computer which is connected to the network you'll be able to see all these different options highlighted over here now just like how we did it in windows services if you'll find certain services which are executed over here and you want to get some details about them you can right click on it you can go to the end uh, entry of it you can jump to the image you can find the process details and properties or you can delete the service from here as well last thing that we'll be looking at in windows is its windows updates uh, which are usually uh, scheduled and it's recommended that you must be updating your windows from time to time now um, if you click on windows updates you'll find an option over here that uh, there are certain updates uh, which were installed on the computer and if you click on it you'll be able to see um, the updates and if you want to uninstall them these are the options over here sometimes it happens that some uh, patches which were installed on the computer after that you were having certain issues so it's uh, sometimes recommended to um, uh, uninstall it from here and to uh, check it again if your pc is working fine uh, so um, it helps you in taking care of um, the overall health of the computer it's always recommended to keep your windows updated now we are looking at a very interesting thing over here which is cve now cve plays an important role if you are using or if you are scanning your network using nmap or uh, metasploit etc or you are checking different things on the remote target machine about its vulnerabilities etc now cve is a common vulnerabilities and exposures website the main purpose of this website is for example um, every organization is using different applications, databases, SQL Server, um, MySQL or um, um, Oracle databases, uh, different forms of operating systems. So it was difficult to go to different websites to know the known vulnerabilities of those systems. So what this website is doing, it, it's managing all the known vulnerabilities which were ever found in any application or operating system. And it lists just over here so that uh, you uh, shall be aware of it about the known vulnerabilities of that operating system and how you can fix them so if you want to find the vulnerabilities of any of uh, the operating system that you are using you can click on search cve list and you'll click on for example uh, windows over here and press enter once you'll press enter it would list some known vulnerabilities of windows operating system which were ever found and uh, they listed of uh, listed it over here now if you click on for example this one which is talking about vertex web and uh, it is giving you complete detail of it after clicking on this thing it would show you uh, the details of it by NIST on their website, the common vulnerabilities, the score of it, and the other advisories options which were there, and the known affected software configurations which are there as listed over here. Further, if you'll go for any other vulnerability which was quite common in Windows, which was Windows SMB, which is file sharing, uh, file sharing uh, regulations and the vulnerabilities known on that. You can click on any of these vulnerabilities which were ever identified on it. Um, it would give you complete details of it when it was identified, what was the main target and how can you fix it. Now what hackers do usually is that instead of using um, uh, instead of finding the exact payload which should be required in order to penetrate on a system they'll scan the system as we covered earlier in our previous uh, uh, lab session that we uh, covered passive reconnaissance and in that we used nmap and if you are using nmap against any target machine it gives you a vulnerability 
which is identified on that machine and it would show you as CVE and then a number corresponding to something like that would appear. If you'll come and you'll enter that CVE over here on the website, it would show you that what was the vulnerability and um, what was the payload which was used. Now they use this information to use Metasploit uh, in order to uh, use the payload to target the machine that we'll be covering later sometime in our lab sessions so at the moment just try to understand that what is cve and what's the main purpose of it and uh, how adversaries are using it in order to uh, exploit any known vulnerabilities which they scan and find it in the uh, open world or outside computers uh, so that was about uh, uh, the basics of your operating system forensics. How do you check it? Um, how do you know the basic vulnerabilities on your system? How to check if there are any traces? And what are the tools that we can use in order to protect our own machines? Of course, you must have an antivirus installed. A proper firewall should be there in order to make sure that your system is 100% secure and clean from any sort of viruses, malwares on any kind of Trojan horses that are installed on the machines. That's it for today. Thank you very much.